guys, if you are coming to the UK to come and work as a carer, please make sure you have compassion for the job. Make sure you know what the job entails because you do not want to find yourself in a mess. After you've left Africa, you've told all your family members that I'm going to the UK to work and at the end of the day, they will discover that you have been sentenced to jail for the same job that brought you into the UK. We should be careful. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is very obvious that um, of recent, the healthcare visa route is the most popular route a lot of people are using to migrate to most of the developed countries. I'm talking about UK, Canada, Australia, some other countries, New Zealand, a lot of people are migrating to go and render care services. But some of these people don't even know what the job entails. Some of them don't even have compassion for this job. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be discussing about a Nigerian care worker who has been sentenced here in the UK for 18 months in prison. This is a very sad one. What this lady did, to think that she is an advanced lady, a lady of almost 60 years, rendering care services to different vulnerable individuals could do such a thing. It is very, very appalling. Anyways, before we go further in this video, I know a lot of you will be like, we've not been seeing your videos, you've not been uploading for almost a week. Yes, guys. That's because I was very, very down. I was very sick. And I want to say thank you to those of you who reached out to me on the comment section. Those of you who sent me messages on WhatsApp. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much. As you can see, I'm fine. I'm better. And I'm back. Back to give you the videos, the content. Back to back. Anyways, if it's your first time here, my name is Joanne and I'm based here in England. I talk about life experiences here in the UK and in the diaspora at large. So if it is something that is of interest to you, please subscribe to my channel. And a very big thank you to my returning subscribers. God bless every one of you. Alright, let's dive straight into today's video. So I saw this news on Telegram. So that's a very, very reliable news source. And I'll be reading for you guys in a minute. But I just want to explain it. What actually happened. Like I said, most people are moving, relocating to most of these countries to go and render healthcare services. Whereas they don't have the passion for it. If you don't know what you are going there to do. You know, you could land yourself in a big mess, in a big trouble, just like this lady. I know some of us will say, I've had the training, I've watched YouTube videos, I know what it entails. Yeah, but you have to have the compassion, you know, to look after people. Because some of these people, they are not uh, mentally okay. So they can even do some certain things that will, you know trigger you to do what you are not supposed to do to them i know it's not all of them but some of us sometimes because we don't have the compassion to look or care for people we tend to you know get frustrated and then we start doing things that we're not supposed to do this lady that has been sentenced is a 60 years old nigerian lady known as adeke adeke adebayo so she was hired by the son to this very vulnerable lady 87 years old service user so the son hired her through a company to come and render 24 hours care service to his mom and you guys know this uh, living they call it living care so you have to be there morning afternoon evening you are just like part of the person's um, family just to render health care services 24 hours not knowing that when nobody is there, this 60 years old lady will be maltreating the service user up to the extent that she was using slippers to hit this 87 years old lady. It is very sad. I'm not, I'm not going to support her. Whether or not she is from my country, whatever is wrong is wrong. So according to the son of this vulnerable lady, the service user, the son said the last time he went to visit his mom, 
the mom was begging him not to leave and you know if you have a mom who is you know jovial playful all of a sudden you visit your mom your mom is very moody your mom is sad is not happy you try to find out you know what's happening let alone when though your mom is telling you that you should not leave because she is scared of what is going to happen if you are not there so this la uh, this lady's son did not even speak to the, the carer this our nigeria sister what he did was to install a camera you see why some people will install camera some of them are not installing camera because they want to put you in trouble you guys can see that from the beginning there was no camera in the house but because the mom complained to the son that oh this is what is happening to me i'm scared i don't want you to leave so the son has to install a camera just to clear his instinct to clear his guilt like he wants to know exactly what is happening whether what his instinct is telling him is right so he installed the camera and when he came back a few days later the mom was also begging him not to leave at that point the mom tell, told the son that this is what has been happening to me that this uh, carer is bullying me so the son got angry without even checking the camera he asked the lady this 60 years old um, Adeke, Fadeke Adebayo to pack her stuff everything that belongs to her in the house and leave immediately and then he called the company that brought the lady and told them that he doesn't want to see the lady here anymore because he doesn't know what's happening his mom has been complaining left right center so after the lady has left he decided to check the camera to go through the camera and then lo and behold guys what he saw he could not believe it according to him he said he's traumatized what he saw made him to be too like very very sad and me i could relate if my mom is telling me that i know my mom is vulnerable and my mom is telling me that this is happening to me this is happening to me at the end of the day i install a camera and then i discover of a truth somebody has been abusing bullying my mom i will be so sad except you don't love your mom especially mothers i'm not saying fathers are not loved yeah we know but your mom a vulnerable mother as that is very very sad guys it is so sad so the guy saw everything where the lady was pushing his mom onto the sofa blocking the mom not to go out from the room using slippers to eat the mom the lady was doing all sorts of things to this woman it was so bad so they charged they arrested her took her to court she was charged to court and the case has been um judge the judge has taken decision and she was found guilty at first according to them they said she was um denying that she didn't do those things that the, she thinks that the mother is hallucinating but at the end of the day because they have a lot of video evidence camera evidence she could not tell continue with her denial so she has to accept admit and she pleaded guilty guys if you are coming to the uk to come and work as a carer please make sure you have compassion for the job make sure you know what the job entails because you do not want to find yourself in a mess after you've left africa you've told all your family members i'm going to the uk to work and at the end of the day they will discover that you have been sentenced to jail for the same job that brought you into the uk we should be careful we should be very very careful i will just take the reading so that i do not look as if i'm just telling stories without facts so according to um where i got this from is from landshare telegraph it said a 60 years old care worker has been sentenced ill treating an 87 years old woman in her home fadeke adebayo from London was employed to 24 hour care to the woman in her home. Following concerns about how his mother was feeling the day was feeling that day, pardon me, her son installed hmm, a convert camera in the house. 
When he visited her a few days later, she begged her and told him Akira bullies her and make her feel bad. He immediately called the care company and asked her to pack her bags and leave the address with immediate effect. When he viewed the footage, it captured Adebayo physically abusing his mother on May 8th and May 9th. It is so sad. The footage showed Adebayo pushing her onto the sofa from the stopping her from leaving the room, flipping her in the face and also on the head with slippers. Ah, oh God, it is so sad, guys. I, I don't think I want to continue reading this. Let me just take the last part. Our son's instinct proved to be correct, and I was I told him for I thanked him for a quick response to install a camera in the house. When faced with overwhelming evidence against her, Fadeke left was left with no other choice than to plead guilty of all the charges. So you guys can see that even after being caught, she was even denying it that she didn't do it. But because of the video and camera evidences that they had, she has to admit that of a truth, she did all those things and she pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 18 months in prison. It is sad. Please, let's be guided. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.